The steel bars normally used in reinforced concrete structures has a specified characteristic strength of 500 Newton per mn square. The grade 500 steels has replaced the grade 250 and 460 reinforcing steel. Grade 250 steel are still being used for the shelling. It is a hot raw mouth steel bar which is usually have a smooth surface so that the bond with the concrete is due to the adhesion only. Without the rigs on the surface of the reinforcement bar, the mechanical interlocking between the steel and the concrete is unable to ensure. As the grade of steel is not really high, the mechanical interlocking may not be necessary. The two types of steel are used include the grade 250 and high yield steel. Grade 250 have the specified yield strength of 250 kN per mn square, while high yield steel bar has 500 N per mn square yield strength. Grade 250 is a hot raw mouth steel. It has a smooth surface and it is easily bent and normally produced in small radius of less than 10 mn diameter and is normally used as the shelling. The high yield steel bar have the rigs on the surface and this rib encourage the mechanical bond between the concrete and the steel so that high bond stress is developed. To ensure the tensile cracking of the steel, the bend radius have to be limited to two bar size for the reinforcement bar of less than 60 mm diameter or has to be at least greater than 3.5 bar diameter when the bar size is more than 16 mm diameter. The high yield steel bar can be classified as class A, B and C. Class B is the most commonly used reinforcement bar in the typical reinforced concrete structure. Class C has high ductility which may be used in the earthquake resistance design. As for Class A, it is normally associated with small diameter and normally used in the form of mesh or fabric. The ductility is relatively low in comparison to the Class C and B.